Britain 420 AD. The Roman Empire has pulled all its troops home and ended its occupation of the country, leaving it in turmoil. In every province of Britain, the local tribal chief has declared himself king of that region, and each king wars with another for more territory. And now, the Saxon barbarians have started invading the shores, trying to conquer Britain for themselves. The Dark Ages in Britain have begun. A time lost to history. A time of legends, of violence and bloodshed. Of magic and mythical creatures. And of a great wizard named... Merlin. Message, sire, reads, kill the child. It is the safest way. But not the wisest. This child... If the offspring of a demon can be called a child, I believe your daughter. That was no man but an evil spirit that did come down and take advantage of her basic goodness and purity. Nor do I question the nature of her account, King Eringer. Only the nature of the spirit. Which must have been evil to defile her so. One need look no further than the chaos in the heavens above, my lord, to see the basic Quiet. evil. I tire of your words. And I tire of yours. Sonica! Sonica! Pupil should not challenge the master. I have counseled you. So I did your father, and his father, and his, and many other kings throughout the Wales and Britain. Lo, these many years brought thee through plague and famine, capped the Roman legions at proper fear of invading these lands. Aye, you and your. Druid priests took their pay in sacrifice when you needed, did you not? I want the child. I want more. I have seen a vision of the elder tree associated with this child. And so you say this child's father is a spirit of the underworld? Evil spirit which is why it would be better and safer to kill the child, to allow its evil spirit in here. Or it would be better to not risk the wrath of the Dark Gods by killing it. Well, then, let me see. Good. 
one last lesson for today. What would you like to learn? I would like to learn how to read minds. A simple proposition. To read a person's mind, you must know their heart. You must study them. You must understand what it is like to be them. Only in that instance will you be able to place yourself in their mind's eye. And you will be able to read their minds. But that isn't magic. Yet it works equally as well. One should not think first of magic if you can accomplish a thing using other means. Merlin, what would you like to learn? I would like to learn how to create light. The spell you seek is ancient. I rarely use it. In dark places, it will call attention to oneself as much as aid one's vision. Luminaros. Try again. That certainly would call attention to oneself. Has he ever shown you that book? The Book of Spells? No. Has he shown you? No. I doubt you could even read it. And you could? Of course. I have studied the ancient scripts. His Book of Secrets, handed down from one wizard to the next. 1,000 years of knowledge reaching back into the Hyborian Ages. Everything we need is in that book. He must have his reasons. He's afraid. You and I, the power we have is within us. He draws his strength from those pages. I don't think we are so different than him. He may be hiding something from you. Like what? Has he ever told you who your father is? We're orphans. If he knew who our fathers were, he would have told us. You are naive. There are spells in that book that can read the past, show you where you came from. He's hiding that from you. Don't you want to know who you really are? Use your spell. Volo. To me.
It is enchanted. Keep watch. I don't know. It just did it by itself. Ask it something. Show Merlin his father. His father. Focus on him. to instill in you. I cannot see now. There's great power within this book. Neither you nor Merlin are ready. I disagree. If you wish to remain under my tutelage, Master Wendinger, you will adhere to the time-honored traditions. I trained you as I was trained, and as were the wizards before me. Now come, let us fix what needs correcting. Merlin needs our help. It's always about Merlin, isn't it? I have no favorites. Do you? If it were I, curled up on the ground like a simpering baby, what concern would I warrant? I left him there to tend to you. You came for the book. You and Merlin are like sons to me. You are not my father. Come. There are things to do. Merlin needs you. There's still time to undo the damage which may have been done. You're making a mistake. the gods. I wouldn't finish that if I were you. Will you help me? Is this the great Merlin?
Rest, Merlin. Merlin, good morning. I would like to introduce you to the Lady Nimue. Hello. Where am I? My sanctuary. Private study. Deep within the earth, beneath Lenorquin. Here one can work undisturbed. Well, there's Nimue and Vivian, but... What happened to me? Wendinger and your incantation brought you in contact with your father. <gasps> that thing! That could not have been my father. I'm afraid so. I am no child of a demon. Your vision, was it not of an elder tree? I'll need more proof than a mere birthmark. Turn it fro and one sees an elder tree. Yet this way sees something entirely different. Who you are does not come from your father or mother, nor from your status or family crest. Who you will be comes from within. You are the offspring of a god. But how much of his powers reside within you, and for what purposes you will use them, only you can determine. What is she? One such as her can be powerful allies, or the worst enemies. There are all manner of gods still about in this world, if you choose to see them. You expect it, huh? MP. 
Wikipedia. Everyone, I'm just a traveler passing through. I only ask one thing, that we shall celebrate this night together. That we can share in this one thing for victory. Yay! Yay! should attack before our spirits weaken. Every day, people leave our ranks. Hengist has taken us this far, has he not? We should take a kingdom for ourselves, rather than protect these fools who grow fat from our labor. I wish to join your army. <laughs> what skill could you possibly have? One hundred of your finest men cannot kill me. Knave, I'll run you through right now. Maybe so, but 
Aren't you curious as to why I would make such a claim? What is it you want? I want what you want. Sire, are you not the Hengist who aided Vortigern in driving out the Picts and securing the kingdom? The same, if I am correct, who was rewarded by being expelled from the very land he spilled blood for. I want the same as you take back what is mine. Well, Tom? The verdict remains the same. The gods are telling you that there is evil abroad in the land. Evil that threatens the foundation of your kingdom. Evil that has been brought about by a dark spirit that took on human form and has now reached adulthood. His power is enticing the Saxons back to this land to overrun it, to become his minions, and to kill all who stand in his way. So you must kill him, this Merlin, before he is the death of us all. Mage, we've come for the one they call Merlin. Come now. No. But... No. But you must have some idea. For the hundredth time, no. I see you carry no weapon. My weapon is up here. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it your magic that protects you? Show us something. Well, like what? Make something. How about... supper? Magic is not something one uses on whim. He can't do it. He thinks not. Imri Hira. <laughs> Imri Hira. You first. Smell that? Picts. This isn't their territory. With the Romans gone, they come as they please. You'll wish you had your weapon on you now.
It is he, the evil one. Do I know thee? I know that thou art the agent for the evil spirit that has been bringing down our troubles upon us. Now, we shall be slain. And your blood shall be scattered around the castle grounds as an appeasement to the gods. This is the only way that the gods will realize our commitment to the task of ridding this land of all evil and of being worthy of the gods' help in defeating the Saxons. And you would rid yourself of your only hope in defeating the Saxons. Mage! I have seen the visions of the one who bears the mark of the Elder Tree. He will bring ruin to our land, death and destruction. It is your lot of life to be so wrong in your vision. Waddingham, why do you enlist one such as Torm, who crawls so low to the ground who has not seen the sky? White dragon. What? I see it too. to destroy it. At least we shall try. We must work together. now to appease the beast. Kill him. My lord, this man saved our lives. He predicted the dragon. Your own counsel did not foresee this. Sovereign Park! You brought the dragons down upon us, didn't they? Kill him now while we still have time!
Casualties? The men are leaving. We are four stone down. Oregon, we are not the enemy. We can only survive this if we band together. I suspect a wave of attack is soon. From whence? My outposts have seen no such invaders. <laughs> they did a fine job of spotting these dragons. Thou should not forget who you are talking to. I will never forget who you are, sire. I will follow those dragons back to their masters. I want to go with you. Teach me how to transform into a hawk and I will follow. No. You go to Lin Ogwen. Bring back Excalibur. Excalibur? You must get it from the Lady Vivian. Vivian? Nimue's sister. How do I find her? Go to Lin Ogwen. She will find you. But remember, the gods have little in common with mortal man. You must not let her detain you. Now go. I can't help here. Bring Excalibur. Prepare yourself for an attack. I would set up defensive positions, keep out of the open. How dare you tell me how to run my army? If you want to survive this, I would dig in. I do not think that attack was the worst of it. Does he know who you really are? No. Wise to keep it that way. Godspeed. I seek the Lady Vivian! The mage sends his regards! But what we really need right now is your help! So if you could kindly show yourself, and I could... You be the Lady Vivian. And you be the famous Merlin. Aren't thou not our kin? The mage sent me here to ask you for, for an Excalibur. I. I give to you the same offer I gave the mage. I give you something. You must give something back to me. What do you want? I want... what is in here. You 
You're not going to find a lot. You don't give yourself credit. What could a god possibly learn from me? Forged in the Hyborian Age before man. It can cut through the hide of a dragon. The blade emits a special light to blind thy enemies. This scabbard, as simple as it may be, has powers as well. While wearing this scabbard, one can suffer great injuries yet come through whole. A word of warning. While this blade has great powers, it does not bestow them upon all. It rewards the just, the righteous, and pure of heart. It destroys the unworthy. To remove it from its scabbard is to reveal who you really are. For Excalibur will exact the ultimate price if you are not worthy. Thank you. You cannot keep Excalibur. It must be returned to me. You shall bring it back. I shall take this. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And why is that? Excalibur only rewards the worthy. And thou art worthy. The bastard son of a whole mother and a demon from the netherworld. I shall slay thee with this blade. <laughs> Thank you. 
What are you doing here? I had a vision. A vision? Who did this? Vendiger. What was he looking for? I fear my book of secrets. He has lost his way. Did he find it? No. That's good. Where did you hide it? So you are the Dragon Master. You're losing your touch. I suppose I have. To have selected such a poor candidate for schooling. I knew it was a risk taking you in, knowing where you came from. So much promise to turn out of so little talent. Venus! The Book of Secrets. Where is it? That I would put thousands of years of knowledge in your hands. You're the only one. I would give my trust, my faith, for you are, as always, the closest thing to my son. Listen to me. To combat dragons, it is written in the Book of Secrets. Take my body to the Lake Linogwin. It will be the only way. The, the Lady Vivian will reveal it to you. But remember, the gods have little in common with mortal man. It is.
Hengist. The tables have turned. I, once the servant, shall soon become the master. It is inevitable. It is only up to you to decide how painful the transition shall be. Place the sentry by the mountainside. fighting men of Britain. You have served me and your crown well. Today, I ask of you but one more sacrifice. Lay down your arms, and Hengist has guaranteed to me your survival. Throw down your weapons and walk away from this field of battle, and you will be able to return to your farms and villages. Hengus guaranteed your families will be spared if you do this. Disobey and you will be destroyed. seeks to take away what he never possessed. Your souls! If you give in today, you will be vassals, servants to a new king. But can will, I'm certain, be rewarded in his success in your capitulation. But you, each and every one of you, will go back to your families, not free men, but slaves. Because, mark me, these Saxons are not men of their words. Do you not think they will refrain from attacking your villages? Slaying your children, taking your women. Look at what they've done so far. Imagine what they will do again. We will not go down without a fight. Are you with me? But how can we defeat their army and their dragons? All you offer is brave words. It's a sure death for us all! Death in battle is a good death if the cause is just. And think of this. Though the chance be slim, we may prevail. We have more allies than you may know. Our people at home outnumber the Saxons three to one. If we give in today, all hope is destroyed. To give in today is to lose your soul. And a man without a soul is dead already! Are you with me? No! How dare you speak to me this way, inciting insurrection? I shall have you executed for treason. No, it is you who shall be executed. You committed treason a long time ago when you killed my father and banished Ambrosius and I from your kingdom. And you commit treason today by forcing our people into slavery. Ah! 
to fight. Shall I? Not yet. Send forth the Berserkers. Berserkers! Dragons, Master Vendiger. But our men are still upon the field. What about our men? They are all God's men now. He is to be taken to Avalon. Avalon? Avalon. The resting place of the gods. And now, of the mage. There are those that have gods as their patrons. So it was with he who earned his patronage through his knowledge of the secrets of magic. Which is by way of the other reason I've come here. The mage's book of secrets. I. The Book of Secrets. Thank you. You cannot take it from here. The mage made me promise it would never enter the world of man again. Whatever you need from it, you must gather it here.
but he never told me how to break the enchantment. Nor I. We haven't even made a dent in their force. Not yet, but we will. tasks I keep you from? No. Instead of going through spell after spell in your mind, would it not be more helpful to say them out loud? Perhaps I might hear something familiar. Or at the very least, I could learn from thee. You and your ploy have failed. Our army lies in tatters, my battalion annihilated. Yet the dragons have moved on? Yes, moved on to our family and homes, with no one left to defend them. If we'd only done as Vortigan wished, many men would still be alive to fight again. Do you not think for one moment, having thrown down your weapons, Hengus would have let you live? He would have slaughtered you all like dogs. Yet we are being slaughtered like dogs, Uther. Do you want to help? Everyone here is working. Pick up an axe. Your words are tiresome. I see no hope in you. You are wrong. As long as we still live, there is hope. And I also have hope in another. Should he return. Who? Merlin. Merlin? He's probably fled to another region. You won't be seeing him again. He will return. No doubt he faces life-threatening danger to do so even now. Merlin, you must leave here. If you do not leave, Lady Vivian will imprison you here forever. Why would she do that? As a cat plays with a mouse, you Half God are interesting to her. And the lifetime for you is but a moment to her. But she gave me Excalibur. And she made you give it back, did she not? Oh, I can't leave now. Not until I gain the knowledge I seek. Tell her you are leaving now and see what reaction that gets. You are a prisoner and she will kill you once you show her how to access the book. We gods have little in common with mortal man. It is the truth. Show me the spell to slay a dragon. Any luck? 
No. In fact, I think I'm gonna give up. The incantation binding this book, it's beyond me. I must join the battle before all is lost. You may leave any time you like. Might I suggest you try a little longer? Think. Think what you can gain if you can but access this book. Tricky one, Merlin. Pretending thou hast not solved the riddle. I think I'll be going now, if you please. Return me to the surface. You promised you would help me learn the secrets of magic. The inner workings of nature. Oh, I'd love to stay and help. But I have to rejoin my people, so if you please. You are one of us. We are your people, Merlin. I am only half your kind. And if the lot of you care not for others, then I would gladly hone myself in two and discard that portion. Merlin, I did not mean that I would not help you. And we're legals. Thank you. You were right. You have the book? No. I left it in the other room. She can't access it. I've learned everything I need for now. We need the book. If you'd kindly return me to the surface. You're never leaving! Not until you show me how to access it! I'm sorry I didn't trust you. We shall see each other again. And you... shall make it up to me. I will return it. See you fair just as I expected. <laughs> yeah. We've got the Dragon Lord and Henga straight where I want them. On the run. Well, don't worry. I have a plan. Who's your swiftest rider?
scabbard, as simple as it may be, has powers as well. While wearing this scabbard, one can suffer great injuries yet come through a hole. Sure, the spell's gonna work. If you take it of your own free will, then I can change you back at will. What if you die in battle? Then you'll change back to human then as well, just as Vendiger's dragons would. All we need is to keep his dragons occupied long enough for me to get through and slay their dragon master, and then victory is ours. I'll do it. And I also. Take it. Definitely.
You are not the only son of Pyra. It doesn't have to be like this, Merlin. Join me. And together, we could rule Britain. Never. Look up to the sky! Your dragons fall like stones, unable to best mine. Tell me where the book is, Merlin. A quick death is preferable to my having to pull the answer from your mind. You speak like you've won already. I will win, Merlin. I was always the true power behind Hengist. If he falls, the Saxons will follow me. It was my dragons that inspired them. It is my magic that can conquer Britain and rule man like the god I am. And now, Merlin, you see the truth. Our birthright, the power of the dark god inside us. What you wrong shall to embrace it. No. He taught me things more important. We all for no. This Britain doesn't die that easily. You're free. You're free. I could get used to that.
ones I knew. They would return to me. For the day only. The day. Or maybe a few. We shall see. Through, through my, my heart, heart.